The ontological argument was first put forward by St. Anselm of Canterbury. Anselm argued that we all share a common understanding and concept of God. He described this as that than which nothing greater can be thought of. So the greatest possible being that could ever exist. There is nothing greater that can be conceived. Yeah, fair enough, I agree. That's the common understanding of God. Well now, if you agree with that, then Anselm argues you're a fool if you do not believe God exists. Why is that? Well, let me ask you, what is greater, a concept of a pencil in someone's mind that doesn't actually exist, or an actual, real pencil that does exist? Well, obviously the real pencil is greater than a concept of a pencil in someone's mind, as that pencil only exists in the mind, whereas the real pencil exists in reality. Exactly. So then think about it. We agreed the concept of God is that than which nothing greater can be thought of. So then, if it is greater to exist in reality than in the mind, then God has to exist in reality, otherwise he is not the greatest possible being. How could the greatest possible being only exist in the mind? That means there's things that actually exist that are greater, but that is a logical contradiction, as you cannot think of something greater than the greatest being. So by the very definition and concept of God, his existence cannot be reasonably denied. So using this logic, you can see that God does exist. Wait, wait, I can't agree with that.